everyone and welcome to another haul. So uh, let's see, uh, yesterday, it was only yesterday. Yesterday was my actual birthday. I am now 28 years old. So I thought today would be a good opportunity to show off some of the things that I got for my birthday and just a couple of the things that I've ordered selfishly for myself because I've accumulated a couple neat things. Not all of them are necessarily video game related, but I, 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 they're just my interests and I like looking at this stuff. So I figure someone out there must also like looking at this stuff. Um, I'm not gonna show off a couple of the more uninteresting things to look at, like my gloves or I got a new beanie. Like I, I, I don't think people really like looking at that. I, it's definitely useful for me, but uh, you guys probably don't wanna see that. So. Um, let's uh let's get started because i'm pretty excited to open these guys up so excited for this i was walking around target and i saw this a couple days ago with autumn and i knew i needed it i i'm not sure amiibos are kind of like hit or miss you're never really sure how long they're going to be on shelves so if you want to collect the amiibos it's probably best to buy them now because it seems like the price for them always just skyrockets like only a couple months after their release it seems like so um yeah even if they're not in the box i think uh they're just gonna go up in price usually in most cases sometimes you can find used amiibos for around like 10 bucks but uh yeah that's more a a lucky thing if you find a, a deal like that so let's open this guy up i'm not a complete inbox collector i just i want it in my hand and i've been waiting days to get this Oh man. You know, I don't even play Persona. I've never played a minute of Persona in my life, but this is probably one of my favorite Amiibos. I love the detail on this. It is just so cool and it has so much style. It kind of makes me want to play Persona. If Persona 5 does come to the Switch, I'll definitely give it a shot. And if it comes with Amiibo uh, functionality, I will definitely be, be uh, purchasing it. So yeah, that's Joker. The other two are actually gifts, not things that I bought myself. Um, let's see, these two are from my mom. She dropped these off. Um, I, I love you, mom. Thanks for my birthday presents. Um, the first one is Hero from Dragon Quest. This is another series that <laughs> I haven't played a minute of. I've never played any Dragon Quest, but since I'm such a Nintendo fanatic, I just love Amiibos. I love how they look on my shelf even though they don't do anything. I just think it's so cool to have this whole like collection of like Nintendo memorabilia, even though Joker and here aren't necessarily Nintendo, but you know what I mean. So here he is in all his glory, not quite as fancy as Joker, but still pretty stylish. His, shorts, his uh, shield is really shiny, so that's cool. His sword is pretty flimsy. Think like the Fire Emblem Amiibos if you've, uh, if you've ever felt those, very flimsy. I've never had these break, but like I don't have kids that would play with these. I could see a kid really bending this sword and messing it up. I don't like how it just sways from side to side. So nobody touch Hero. You got that, Ziggy? Oh, by the way, if you hear noises in the background, he's just chewing up one of the amiibo boxes. Yes, I know I'm a monster. This is the next one, it is Pichu. He was from the last Amiibo release and I missed him unfortunately because they released like, I wanna say like four or five Amiibos all at once and ain't nobody got money for that. So my mom managed to get me a Pichu. It's kind of fitting because I'd say out of all the video game franchises, Pokemon is the one that she's most familiar with. She still plays Pokemon Go to this day I believe, although she has been slowing down so maybe she quit. So here is Pichu. Oh, so his ears are actually pretty solid. I was expecting them to be more like hero sword. His tail, his tail's pretty solid too. It's not just like flimsy rubber material either. Pretty good quality. I like Pichu. Kind of a more simplistic amiibo, but I believe, oh no, I still need Jigglypuff. So I have all the Pokemon amiibo besides Jigglypuff. He is, I guess he's my pink whale. I will get you someday, Jigglypuff. All right, so still on the topic of video games, I bought this for myself. I have a couple more GameStop orders coming. Um, this is Kingdom Hearts 3D Dream Drop Distance. 
and I I just got this for pretty cheap. I, I like Kingdom Hearts. I played all, well, okay. So I played one, two, and three, and I never played any other Kingdom Hearts. So I played all the mainline series of Kingdom Hearts. Maybe this will be the game that, that makes the whole story clear, right? Yeah, right. Um, I'm not even sure what this game, oh, okay. I think it's like a, uh, it's more like a mini game collection. I'm not entirely sure. I'm excited to try it out. Kingdom Hearts is cool. And uh, yeah, I, I, I um, you know, I, I want to say I play Chain of Memories, but I never beat it. So um, I am actually kind of surprised because I did say that I got this from GameStop and it's got the whole box and everything. It's pretty nice. And I actually really like the, I really like the inset right here. This, I, I, these are heartless, I assume. So I'm really, wow, wow. It, co color me impressed. Good job, GameStop. You actually shipped a complete box for once. I, you're pretty hit or miss that way. So recently I did a casual review for Sabrina, the animated series. Um, it was a Game Boy Color game. It was That one was called Zapped. And um, I was just kind of talking with Autumn and I actually did some research and I it found out I like I found out there was a sequel to it and that's a game that's near near and dear to Autumn's Heart. So on eBay I actually found a complete in-box Game Boy Color game, Sabrina the Animated Series Spooked. And I'm surprised that a game this old, like I know it's like a licensed game and stuff, but like it's crazy that it's still in the cardboard box. Like now I have this cardboard box I gotta take care of. Like obviously there's a little bit of wear and tear, but like that's, I, I, I completely forgot what Game Boy Color boxes even looked like because I always just immediately in the trash. Oh, and look, it even comes with like all the, oh look, a little tab broke. It even comes with like all the booklets and stuff. Like, oh man, trip down memory lane right here. Oh, do you think, do you think I could still um, subscribe to this Nintendo Power? I remember everyone having this like a uh, Game Boy Color carrying case. Man, I wish I could get Nintendo Power still. I would totally subscribe. Let's see what else we got here. Um, this is just like the little book precautions book, like all the legal stuff. Um, here, this is, it's so cool. That Okay, it looks like they have like some, some cheat codes on here for us to, to get us to, straight to, to different levels. Wow. Remember when games came with instruct, instruction booklets? Got pictures of all the levels. So cool. And here's the game. Sabrina spooked. Perfect for spooky season. All right, we're going to move away from video games. That's all my video game stuff for now. So as you guys know, I'm a huge Simpsons nerd. And I know I can watch every episode on Disney Plus. I do subscribe to that. But I have been collecting Simpsons seasons since before I was married. Like, uh, I want to say 10 to 15 years of collecting. And I have, I had almost all seasons up to season 15. I, I, I decided like season 15, I'm cutting it off. I'm stopping. Even if season 15 is not a great season. So I'm going to stop it at season 15. Not going to go any further. And I was just missing season seven forever. And on Amazon, it's just the prices are just in incredibly expensive. We could not find the seventh season for a reasonable price for years. And somehow Autumn, she's amazing. She managed to get me Simpsons season seven. I don't know how she did it. She's amazing. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to watch these, even though I did kind of just watch all the Simpsons episodes when we first got Disney Plus. So um, actually I might hold off on a little bit on watching this, but I, it will look so good on my shelf to have all 15 seasons of the Simpsons. I don't know if you've seen the trailer or not for Dune, but Dune is a series that my dad is actually really involved in. He's always loved Dune for as long as I can remember. He watched the old movie. I don't, I've never seen the old movie all the way through, but um, I saw a trailer for a new Dune move, movie coming and I told Autumn that I would be interested in reading the Dune book. So she got me Dune and I am really liking the book so far. I'm about I'm almost to page 100 after just like one day. I've been reading a lot of it. Um, question for you Dune experts. Uh, I was looking through this and I saw there was a couple gray pages. So it says like book one and book two and then there's book 
uh, three. So um, if you guys could clarify this for me, oh, that was appendages. Maybe there's, I thought, I could have sworn there was a book three. Anyway, it, it seems like it's made, it, this is like a collection of multiple books. It doesn't say like, this is a collection of all, like the first three Dune books or anything like that. So I'm not sure, was the first book just sectioned off this way? Please let me know, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. Um, like, if I read through all this, do I need to buy book like four or do I need to buy book two to read the sequel? I'm not sure, but I am really liking Dune and it's making me more and more excited for the movie every page that I read. So here we have a gift from my mother and father-in-law, Lego Harry Potter. It's got the Room of Requirements. For those of you who don't know, I really love Legos and I really love Harry Potter. And I definitely asked for Amiibos and Legos for my birthday. So I'm sure my mother and father-in-law were just ecstatic to buy toys for their daughter's 28-year-old husband. Um, I, I, I'm sure they really planned on this when uh, they they were young. They said, you know, my future son-in-law is just going to want toys and I, 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 I'm going to ask if I can build them with him. You know, actually, I want to say, <laughs> like, almost every gift-giving holiday, they have gotten me a Lego of some sort, like, as far, or, or Simpson season. Anyway, little side note, uh, here is Lego Harry Potter. They also got me a gift card, which was really nice. I'm excited to build this. It's got Lego Patronuses. That's awesome. And, okay, over here. <laughs> And we got the big Harry Potter Lego. I can't even fit this on the screen. Let's see if we can move this up a little bit. There we go. Okay, we got the big Lego Harry Potter. Autumn got this for me. We just finished building the Lego Stranger Things set. That was like $200. We got it for our anniversary and we just finished building it last night. I'm like, you know what, for my birthday, we're gonna finish Cobra Kai season two, and we're gonna we're just gonna finish the Stranger Things Lego set, and we recorded it all. So we're going to do like a little time lapse of building that set. So please look forward to that. Um, oh, let me show you the the Stranger Things Lego. There it is. Oh man, it's so cool. It flips on upside down and everything like that. I'm I'm excited to play with it. Although I don't really play with Legos. The the main appeal is actually just building them and looking at them <laughs> okay so um yeah uh, hopefully if we didn't get too burnt out here we will build our two lego harry potter sets soon this is hagrid's hut it comes with a little lego executioner which i think is just hilarious and um yeah pumpkins and stuff good time i'm excited well guys, that was it. That's um, all the things that I've gotten so far. I have a couple more things from GameStop on the way, and I, I'm told I have more birthday presents coming. Not not being great, like I, I'm totally happy if I don't, but just saying I, th I think more stuff is on the way. So maybe I'll do a November haul edition. We'll just have to wait and find out. That should be it for now. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.